He fell asleep and then woke from a horrible dream. He cried thanks to the childhood memories that flooded him and memories of her sunlit bright and clear and true saturated him. There would be more to come and more to go before he was done. Thousands of miles. Propaganda was strong in the country, but still, Will had his emotions to himself. He wondered how the hell there were men out there who could still be ashamed to cry and call themselves men. Men don't cry was worthy of myth status, embedded in cultural submucosa. He had his eyes out for front men, thieves, and gangbangers on the late night streets and in the broad light of day. He had eyes in the back of his head now, would trust no one. The best he could be was aware on the streets. Kids got old young on the west side of the city. Chicago would swallow your ass. You had to learn and learn and make mistakes. Failure gets such a bad rap, but the ones who survived and rose above the masses had failed more than others. Though his metabolism tapered down as he headed toward 30, Will thinned out. But he wasn't hungering for food. When he was full, he was fatigued could not think. Americans, bloated with crop from the harvest, could not make heads or tails of him. When you're blessed with food, why don't you eat? They asked. He wasn't hungry like they were, evidently. The Marley in him lifted his legs high and shook his dreads down. And belly full, but they hungry. A hungry man is a hungry man. Everyone talks shit. Talking shit was a fine cop-out for weak hearts. Acting was never so popular, and it caused him to lose a lot of trust in folks, but he'd rather be alone and struggle out of qualifications. You're white trash. You are a yuppie. You're not worth my time. You're green, kid. Crawl back in the gutter, lazy head. You're not an artist. You're an artist. What are you trying to be? Be yourself. He missed the country, the slow days of thought, watching the seasons move. Think while he drove around dirt roads. Think up drama or new dreams or little attention drawing schemes. Or simply think sex until he had it. Think sex and sex again with a lovely woman wholesome as a glass of milk who threw tremendous smiles, the kind he wanted to bear his children, the one so faithful you can't meet eyes with the town girls and not feel shame. Tip that rim down, boy. Tip that rim and let it go. Hold back the poverty of lust. Hold out, for the wealth of love will go down on you and take you home to country. Chapter 5 There were celebrations on the west side of the city. The west side could celebrate acid rain. The many ethnicities translated to an endless stream of annual holidays. It was a seasonably mild afternoon. Fireworks were set off in the alleys, smoke rising, people hanging out their cars, rolling down the avenues, shouting. Peace came into Will's heart. The paleterias and elote carts were still out on the streets making noise and selling corn and fruit popsicles before the cold set in. He and Lizard rented an early Clint Eastwood flick and got some Bombay and tonic and had a relaxing Friday night, which led to an early morning rise. He got up and wrote some, did some push-ups, and read some. Lizard, who he had known since they were 12, was still asleep on the couch. Lizard, get the hell up. Don't sleep your youth away. The world needs you. I need you. Cold. It's cold. Leave me alone. I'm getting up. But I thought you said you can live on four hours of sleep a night. That was you, you ass. That was you.